In today's video, I am going to give you different shooting hacks so that you can shoot the basketball better with your shooting form. Let's get down to it. If you want me to analyze your basketball shooting form, make sure to go check out the link down in the description below. I'm going to be able to break it down, give you some tips and tricks on how you can basically hack your shooting form into becoming amazing and then also some workouts and drills that you can use as well to improve your shooting form. However, the number one hack that I can give you is that you don't have to be squared up to the basket. So many players, so many coaches think that you need to be totally square towards that basket. You need to have everything in line and that's just not the case anymore. We've learned through many, many studies, myself included, that you don't have to be squared up to the rim to have a perfect shot. Even Clay Thompson isn't 100% squared to the rim, and people say he is. He's not. And how can you improve your shot? Well, number one, the one thing that you need to have is 98, 97 in that range percent of shooters need to have their shoulder and elbow in line towards that rim. They need this in line. This is very, very important. Whether you are shooting across your forehead, whether you're shooting in front of your forehead, whether you're shooting from in front of your chin, it doesn't matter. This needs to be in line. Your shoulder and elbow need to be in line to the rim. To do this, what you need to do is, some players, yes, you can be square very small percentage of players are successful being squared up to the rim, but you can be. Many players have a slight tilt, myself included. I have a very small tilt while other players have a larger tilt. Generally left-handed players, many left-handed players have to somehow shoot with a massive tilt. That's just how it is. Now I'm right-handed, but I want the camera on this side. So I'm going to shoot with my left hand. But if you're left-handed, usually you need to have a a little bit of a tilt. Many players need to have a massive tilt to be able to get that elbow and shoulder in line with that rim. And if you are to be able to do this, you're going to be able to hopefully, in most cases, have a higher shooting percentage. So if you're right-handed, you can have that elbow and shoulder in line and you should be able to get that shot. Now there's many different tips and stuff when it comes to the release and I'm going to get to that in a second. However, even myself, if I'm shooting with my left hand and I'm right handed, technically I'm ambidextrous, but whatever. When I shoot with my left hand, I need to have all of this in line. If that's all in line, then from there, it should be pretty well straight shot. Now, when it comes to your release and where that ball is on your set point, whether it's a one motion or a two motion shot, it doesn't necessarily matter, but where you have that ball generally creates that shooting triangle that I always talk about in every single video. And what that shooting triangle does is it allows everything to be in line with a basketball net. Basically, if you basically create a piece of plywood that's big enough to go in line with this to the rim, literally it should be in line. And then if you release off your middle finger and you have everything in like the line like that and you release off that middle finger, you're going to have a ridiculously straight shot. And at that point in time, if you have a ridiculously straight shot, you really only have to play with distance and arc, which is very easy to fix. Distance is legs, arc is release. So when it comes to a short shot, if your shot's too short, you just need to jump higher. If your shot's too short, you need to put more arc on it, in which, or if your shot's too long, you need to put more arc on it, and that's just releasing higher. That's not pushing farther, that's not anything like that. That's not reducing your jump, that's just releasing higher, and that's going to allow you to have a much better shot anyways. Now, something that a lot of players disregard and make a mistake on is their feet. Their feet are very, very important. So if you are right-handed, you should have your right foot slightly ahead of your left. Everyone's different, but generally speaking, if you have your left toes, if you're right-handed, in the arch of your right foot, and then you just sp spread them out to be shoulder width apart, that's generally perfect for most players. Some players like to have it a little bit farther ahead. They want to get more power. They'll step further ahead. That's totally fine. I understand. However, there's also another tip with the feet that a lot of younger players don't necessarily know, and that is to be on your toes. 
being on your toes 90% of the game is going to allow you to be able to be much faster defensively, offensively, be able to be a first step on anybody. You're going to be much faster. However, when it comes to being on your toes, you can actually get up into your shot much faster. These players with a faster release, they are able to be on their toes most of the time. I get a B around me, but when I go for the shot, if I'm already on my toes, I can get up into my shot much faster. Now, generally speaking, we've all seen players like, for example, Trey Young, who shoots the ball from underneath his chin. That's fine for some players. We have to remember that a shot from the chin is going to be blocked much easier. If you are very uh, getting played tightly by a lot of players, guess what? A shot from the chin is going to get blocked a lot more often in most cases than a higher set point from up here. So if you are getting blocked a lot and you're shooting from your, your chest, from your chin, then raise up your, your shooting set point and that's going to allow it to be much higher. That extra four, five, six inches, whatever it may be for you, is going to really allow you to be able to possibly not get blocked as much. Now for the players who are maybe something like a Lonzo Ball who plays for the Chicago Bulls and he used to shoot from across his head like this. That was a very unsuccessful shot. He was well under 30% as a three-point shooter and you need to be 32 or 33% from the three-point line in game to actually be a higher percentage than just going in for a layup. That's how the math works. If you do find yourself shooting from the opposite side of your head, it's actually a very easy fix. And the fix that Lonzo Ball made was just very simply, he still goes up that left side, however he brings it over to the right side to shoot. And it takes a lot of practice, anything where you're changing your shooting form takes a lot of practice, but guess what? If you can go like Lonzo Ball and go from a 20 something percent three point shooter to a 30% three point shooter, guess what? You are now more effective from the three point line, you can stretch out the defense, and then you've got more areas to drive and possibly create a more of a collapsed defense when you do drive, which creates more shots for other players. Now in theory, it should be your middle finger that releases that ball. It should be the middle finger because it's the largest or longest finger on your hand. However, for those players, who shoot possibly with a slightly tilted or offset ball from their shoulder to their elbow, this upper arm, slightly tilted offset, you may find more success shooting from your, your ring finger and middle finger versus your just your middle finger. And for those other players who shoot maybe a little bit more offset with the ball towards the right, which some players are double jointed and that's just how they shoot, you would then be looking to shoot off of the pointer and middle finger. But remember, there's those three releases and middle is generally the best. So make sure to check out the link down in the description below where I can help break down your shot, give you tips, tricks, and drills that you can, and workouts that you can do to be able to shoot the basketball better yourself. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.